Hi friends, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna try to do a one through video today. I usually like to edit it and get it real, you know, chopped up nice and tight so that, um, I don't know, there's just a particular flow, but today um, I'm just really feeling such a strong uh, message and like learning that I've been going through and reflecting on that I wanna share with you and get up on my channel really quickly. So um, I I wanna talk about, so there's, there's so many of you um, and myself, so many of us that are really feeling that um, support to take a big leap and to do bigger things and to be fully in our light and fully in the dark and fully, fully available to ourselves. Um, really, really honest really authentic living, really embodied living, um, and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And that's the quality I wanna talk about today because what I, I feel in myself and in the collective of, of mostly women who are really starting to realize the, the weight and the importance of this lifetime and and i also just want to insert that this this lifetime has so much support for you there really is support for anything that you want to step into you're going to be supported that's my belief as difficult and as hard as the things are as we are walking through there's always there's always support that i believe that um but the beauty way the beauty of um, the assistance and the support of beauty through everything that, that we're walking through right now and that we will continue to walk through. What I've found as I've become a mother of two children, um, the saving grace for me in keeping my sanity and just staying in touch with myself, with the essence of who I am and not getting completely lost in my children or in my you know just in in motherhood and letting that like completely consume me which in a way it has of course but what has kept me really steady and and truly aligned with myself was creating beautiful routines and beautiful meals and keeping my actual house very clean um, and very beautiful, bringing in, you know, juniper inside and little, you know, just bowls of water, whatever, you know, whatever plants were around my home and flowers that I could bring inside. We've had, you know, nearly <laughs> like no um, disposable income for a, a long time. And even with that, especially with that, has led me on a path to devoting myself to making sure that my life felt very beautiful for me. And I was doing this sort of unconsciously for uh, years, that, that beauty was just such an, in, like it, it was as important to me as having water and food in the house was having beauty and having beautiful ways of doing things, having beautiful routines set up and just a beautiful atmosphere for my family to be in and to invite my friends into. Now, I've only just recently started to really slow down and reflect, why is this whole, um, you know, obsession with beauty? Uh, how, why, how is this serving me so deeply? Because it clearly is. It clearly is supporting me, especially in the moments where I feel like um, I need, I, especially in the moments when I feel a huge sense of lack and it's just a huge sense of, of not being supported. And the medicine that I've always turned towards is the feeling of finding what is beautiful about that moment. And that's, a, that's quite a deep dive into self-love. 
because when we are in these really dark places and um, and even in these really light places, it doesn't matter. It could be either. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, there's so much beauty in both. There's so much beauty in a woman who is just dedicated to getting as honest and as present as she can with her trauma and her story and um, her life and the things that she's walked through and and completely consuming it, consuming that darkness. And that's a beautiful process. It's a gorgeous process. Um, it's so honest. And it reminds me of like when you've, maybe you've been with a friend before and they're just getting really honest with you and really dropping in and just really just allowing their story to like flow through them. And that's such a, that's so beautiful, you know? It's so beautiful. And so part of, I think the, I guess the, the problem or I guess, you know, cause I, I feel a little bit afraid um, to talk about the quality of beauty as being such an important and really honestly like life-saving quality to develop within your life. I feel fearful to do that. Now, why would I feel fearful to do that? Because our society um, and our families that we've grown up in it's like beauty is this very narrow category. Like only a few things fit into this like category of beauty. Um, and as I've started to break that down and allow more beauty into my life and receive more beauty, and that's the biggest part of it is just opening yourself up to receive the beauty that's already like always around us. the more I've been able to actually get in my body and get present with what's going on and stay clear and not spin out of control. Um, now it's okay to spin out of control. I do spin out of control, but that doesn't always work on a day-to-day -day basis. There's things we need to show up for. There's things that we need to stay clear on and really devoted to. And so for me, the constant reminder of setting my life up in a way to where there's, I have altars or a very simple tea light candle um, waiting to be lit or, um, you know, especially gathering the plants, even the plants that you wouldn't think to bring inside um, to bring the, the, the beauty of, of Mother Earth in, in the home. Um, this has kept me grounded and on track and and most importantly most importantly connected to myself in a way that continues to feed a sovereign life i always thought there was maybe something wrong with me because i wasn't in a state of relaxed happiness or joy or bliss all the time um and i would think in the moments where i didn't feel happy you know, I didn't feel, I didn't feel happy, but I could feel appreciation. I could feel appreciation for what's around me. I can feel appreciation for this juniper tree. I can connect to this, to the beauty of this juniper tree. I can connect to the beauty of my clean home, of walking around and, and that takes a lot of work. Um, I don't enjoy doing it. But for me, those, those moments of getting into my temple, my home, my body, getting into it and making sure that this is going to reflect what I want to see on the inside has been almost an obsessive way for me to keep, you know, moving forward day by day. Um, so in, the, in that experience of like, of realizing like, oh, I, I don't know if I'm a person who's gonna feel happy all the time, especially with what's going on around us in the world. Um, but what has been able to keep me moving forward and not to just actually get completely swallowed up in the, in the dark. You know, I, haven't, I, I think that working in the dark, it's, it's required you know for anyone who's going to be a trustworthy leader um, in the coming years this intimate relationship with the dark 
a truly personal experience with the dark, truly like committed to um, all aspects of life, those will be our leaders. Um, those will be the women who are getting things done and inviting the, you know, the communities to, to work together and they'll be able, they'll know how to actually sit with any sort of circumstance. So it's important, it's important work to be in the dark. It's important work to also be in the light. It's important to just be with all of it. And um, for me, beauty has been the way, uh, the beauty way, has been how I have kept going. And it's, it's one of the most powerful gifts that I've found like on, on the planet. It's one of the most powerful and most motivating and healing uh, ways that I've been able to uh, continue to be very honest with myself. So I would say if you're, if you're still with me in this video, um, defining what is really beautiful for you. Maybe your house being a little bit of a chaotic, you know, really lived in sort of messy place. Maybe that feels really beautiful for you. Um, I would get really honest about what, what beauty looks like, what beauty feels like, most importantly, not what it looks like. What does it feel like for you? What, what kind of beauty truly touches your heart in a way that's just undeniable and brings you into yourself and bring more of that into your life. Um, for me, it's a, a lot in the mundane uh, preparing meals and hand washing my dishes and just getting, you know, just feeling the water on my hands and allowing myself to become very present with the beauty of, of having running water, with the beauty of, of having, you know, dishes that I love. Um, being really grateful for all of the, every single, every single thing that I own is just a beautiful piece of my life. Um, and if it doesn't make me feel that way, it doesn't come in the door. So this beauty way, it is to me the most day to day, um, reality that I can align myself with and still feel connected to the divine nature of life and the divine nature of who I am. So I wanted to share that um, today because, um, you know, even in moments where I don't feel like I'm connected to my happiness, I don't feel like I'm connected to joy or bliss, I don't feel connected to that yet, when I can connect to beauty and then I can relax into appreciation that is the bridge to me to finding more joy and um, a deeper sense of joy a more authentic sense of joy and um, so I hope that that's helpful for you and I hope that there is um, there's parts of that that you can take and apply to your own life and most importantly to just do this for you I think so often beauty and the concept of beauty it's like we have to do it for someone else and that's one of the biggest lies ever it's like the biggest lie ever. Your beauty is for you. It's for your enjoyment. And um, that's all I have for today. I love you.